On the way over to my house today, I picked up some nice fish at the store. I went to the store before I got to my house, picked up some fish and a nice juicy crab because I got, I got some things to test out today. Now all you guys know my snapping turtle is an absolute beast. And I got a new, brand new V-tail grouper for my saltwater pond with the beautiful lights in there. Look how good that looks. Looks fantastic. So I know my snapping turtle's a beast. We never have actually fed him live. Did that door just open by itself? The ghost in this house. So we all know my snapping turtle loves to eat juicy shrimp. But today we're gonna test out for the first time him going head to head with this crab. One of these crabs that I just picked up at the store, I saw him in there, I thought he'd be a great first test for my snapping turtle. And I also got minnows, little fish, because I want to see, I'm just curious to see if my little V-tail grouper, my little mini beast, will come out and eat some minnows. I'm hoping he does. He might, he may not, but we're going to give it a test. But before all that, guys, we got to see what we're up against, what we're going head to head with, and we got to get a quick word in from our sponsor today. Kamikoto makes great Japanese steel kitchen knives using traditional techniques techniques straight from Japan. Kamikoto builds on the legacy of over 800 years of Japanese technology in crafting the steel to make the knives that have been handcrafted using technology that dates back to the Edo period of Japan. Kamikoto also uses steel sourced straight from Japan and each blade has been perfected from generations of knivesmiths. Each blade comes in a beautiful heavy duty ash wood box which makes sure that the knives are stored safely. It also makes the knives a great gift because the box is just so beautiful. Plus, all the blades and knives have a satin finish for subtle yet stunning luster. Each knife goes through a rigorous 19 step process that takes several years from start to finish. Each knife is individually inspected and Kamikoto is so confident about their knives that they come with a lifetime guarantee. I mean, these knives are so sharp guys, you can cut through your ribeye like butter. When I opened this box, I was stunned at how beautiful these things were and how elegant they look in this box. And last night, my dad was so excited about these knives that he made filet fajitas for the whole family. It was delicious. Kami Koto is having a big sale going on right now and is offering you guys $50 off your order if you use code FISHGUYCHRIS. So click the link in my description to check out their awesome knives. So guys, before we give my snapping turtle the Iron Giant, I'm pretty sure we named him the Iron Giant. Before we give the Iron Giant, the snapping turtle, the feat of his life, we gotta see what we're up against. Now as you can see right here, this is Snappy, the snapping turtle, and shout out to Danong TV for this video. This is Snappy the Snapping Turtle going ham on a live mouse. I don't know, this could be too graphic. This could be a little bit scary, guys, but look at the size of Snappy the Snapping Turtle. See how he's in his own little tank thing. I don't have that for my Snapping Turtle. He doesn't feel comfortable eating outside the tank, but we're gonna try to get him out of the pond today. Snappy the Snapping Turtle looks a little bit feisty. Okay, now this is a little bit terrifying. Uh, the Snapping Turtle is literally following him, the mouse walking around the tank. I don't know how big that Snapping Turtle is, but compared to the mouse, that thing looks massive. I don't know if that's a miniature tiny little mouse, but he is following him around the tank and they dropped him in. This is not, I don't think this is gonna be good. This isn't gonna be good. Oh my, what? <laughs> That's a little bit too savage for me. Now we have another video from Snappy the Snapping Turtle from Danong TV. Shout out to you. Thank you for this video. He looks even more terrifying in this video. He looks massive. That thing looks like he's as big as my head. That's how that's how big this thing looks. And in today's installment of Gruesome, he's feeding it a frog or a toad? And Snappy doesn't even think twice. And he oh my god! Okay, guys, I think that's enough of Snappy the Snappy Turtle. He's a little bit too uh, too excessive for me. Now, this one right here isn't Snappy the Snappy Turtle. This is a Snappy Turtle from Turtle Planet. Shout out to you for this video. Now, this looks like an Arapaima that he's going against. It looks like an Arapaima. Now, I don't you don't see this every day, a Snapping Turtle eating an Arapaima. The, usually, those things are 10 feet, but he's just looking at it crazy right now. Even that Snapping Turtle's got to be huge, right? Oh, my God, he missed it. He missed it. Snappy would have gotten that. See, Snappy the Snapping Turtle, he don't miss, man. Yeah, that Arapaima's not... Not, not gonna have a good day at all. Oh my god, he went for the headshot and he missed it, dude. He keeps missing. He does not give up though. This snapping turtle 
should be named Try Hard because he just he does not giving up on this guy. I don't know if that's a Arapaima or like a snake head or something. Okay, is he gonna get it? I don't think he's gonna get it, guys. I think I think wow, okay, that was it. That was it. That was the end of the video. See, thank god that wasn't Snappy the Snapping Turtle. That fish got spared. If that was Snappy from uh the other channel, Snappy would have devoured that thing in two seconds. So now that we know what we're up against, I don't know how savage mine's gonna be. I don't know if he's gonna be this savage. That's a little bit extreme, but we're gonna give it a try, see how he does against live food. He loves the dead shrimp, but let's see how he really does against something live, like a crab or some fish. Let's do it. All right, so let's go ahead and give my snapping turtle a try here. Now, if you guys did enjoy me reacting to some awesome videos, some cool fish style videos, let me know by dropping a like on this video. If this video gets 1,000 likes, I'll do some more reaction videos with you guys. I'll do some more epic, funny, hilarious, cool fish style reaction videos with you guys. So let me know by dropping a like, 1,000 likes. I'll keep doing that for you guys if you guys do enjoy it. But let's get started. But first thing first, we're gonna start out with Mr. Snapping Turtle. Now here's the plan. We're gonna take some shrimp here. And we're going to lure him out. Oh, there he is, he's already lurking. He's already lurking. So he's already ready to eat, as you can see. He's already ready to eat right there. He wants to eat this piece of shrimp. But little does he know, he's got a little test today. He's not eating shrimp for free. He's eating Fiddler. I think it's a Fiddler crab. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's a Fiddler crab. I think he's ready to go and he's, he's ready to hunt for some food. I can just see him just peeking his head out. He's ready to eat. All right, so let's see if we can get this guy going here. All right, bro. All right, bro. Here we go. He's got some big, big claws. This guy's got some spunk to him. He's got some big claws, dude. Ah, he's got some big claws. He just got me good. Look at the claws on this guy. I mean, he looks like he's ready to just attack. Just attack now I don't think uh, I don't think we should give my snapping turtle that big of a battle to start so I think we're gonna take his claws off because this is his first battle you know he doesn't know what to expect I don't want him to get in there and get pinched so we're gonna take his claws off give him a nice easy target so let's see if he wants to eat it all right mr. crab it's your time to shine brother it's your time to shine mr. snapping turtle what do you got for me do you want this or not do you want this crab all right I'm just gonna drop in the crab just to see if he'll actually eat it ready let's get him out in the open here you want him or what drop them in Drop them in. The koi are eating it. The koi, the snapping turtle, what? What, what? I have cannibalistic koi in my pond. What is happening? There's the crab. Okay, round two because I have cannibalistic koi in there. Round two for the snapping turtle. Okay, new tactic guys. The koi have actually mauled the crab. So I'm gonna try to hand feed. The thing uh, I didn't want to hand feed the snapping turtle with my hand is because this thing's kind of small, so he could just easily get my finger. So I'm gonna attempt to see if he wants the crab with this, because the koi got to it way quicker than he did. I cannot believe how psycho my koi are. So let's see if he wants it. Oh, got it. All right, he bit the crab and the koi ran off with it. So I rewarded him with some shrimp because that's his favorite meal, a big old thing of shrimp. Now for the other test we're gonna do today, will my grouper eat minnows? Let's find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a, take a scoop of these guys. All right, I got a couple minnows in my hands here. Just a couple, I'm gonna toss them in. I see the grouper's head peeking out just a bit there. Right under that rock, the little red spot, that's him. Let's toss these guys in. Oh, he sees them. He sees boom! Let's go! Let's go! All right, I'm giving him another one. I'm giving him another one. That was epic! That was so sick! That was so sick, guys. And he's just a little mini monster. Dude, oh, there he is again. He wants more. He's right in that same spot, right where he was. Boom! Let's go! He just got two there! Three! Three! Let's go! This thing's a beast! I gotta give him more. All right, you want more? Smoked it! Smoked it. Let's go. He's had like 10 minnows already. That thing is a savage. I told you guys mini monsters only from now on for my pond mini monsters only Let's keep giving him some more if he's gonna keep eating I'm gonna keep giving him some minnows that that was so sick All right So now I'm literally just gonna dump the, all the rest of them in there to see if he wants to eat some more So uh, let, let's just let's just see what happens if I dump them all in there There they all are minnows swimming around. I think he might be full guys. Nope. He's coming out smoked another one Look at him right there, he's sick. Look at him, he's looking right at us right there. He is such a beast of a fish, dude. Oh my God, the Clarkies have one over there. The Clarkies are mauling one over there. Savaging. Come on, boom, got another one, dude. Look how sick he is. That is absolutely savage, guys. I love, I absolutely love my mini grouper. We didn't name him, I don't think. Drop some names in the comments of what we should name that grouper. He's a savage. He easily just ate like 10 minnows. Even the Clarkies have minnows. The, the biggest curveball of the day so far, the Koi ate the crab and the Clarkies ate minnows. That is savage. Let's see if Pepe the Puffer wants to eat. These lights, I'm so glad I got them, guys. They make the pond look just 
just so much better. You can actually see everything going on in there. So thankful I did those so you guys can enjoy it that just much better. And let's see if Pepe the Puffer wants to have a little shrimp. All right, Pepe, there's Pepe hiding right by these lights. I kept these uh, circle lights, the spotlights, just to have them in there, but the pond just looks amazing right now. I mean, just look how incredible it looks compared to what it looked like before. It looked incredible. It looks just so much better. I think Pepe is hiding. Look, he's in the sand right there hiding. And we got the homies just grubbing it. The homies are just grubbing it. Pepe's not in the mood today. Probably because I fed Pepe yesterday. I feed all these fish every single day and everyone is thriving. I mean, everybody's thriving. It, it feels so good. We got the saltwater pond with its brand new lights. All the fish are eating, especially the grouper. That was my number one thing. We got the freshwater pond, everything doing great in here. And my predator koi. I'm telling you, I have a whole different breed of koi fish in here. We got some serious savages up in there. Okay, we are quickly going to do one more test with some goldfish instead of a crab to see if he wants these guys. And I'm going to use this because this might be a little bit too small for him. So I'm gonna use the bigger critter keeper to see if he'll feel a little bit more comfortable to eat. So let's try it, baby. Let's see if he wants some live goldfish. All right, let's see him in here. Looks like a beast. Now let's see what happens when we drop some goldfish in, baby. All right, let's see what happens. I gave him a lot of options here, a lot of different fish. I don't think he's gonna eat them, guys. Oh, he got one. He got one. Let's go. He got one, guys. Let's go. He got one. Look at him from up top with the goldfish in his mouth. Let's go. He ate that like a champ. He clearly likes it. Swimming around with it in his mouth like a trophy, baby. That is crazy. All right, I wanted to make sure to at least try to feed him some goldfish for you guys. He kind of killed this one. Let's see if I can hand feed him this now. I missed it, but he got another one. And that one's alive. That one's live. And he caught it. And he's eating it. Let's go. That's a totally different one. That's a totally different one, guys. He smoked that one, let it go, and then grabbed this one right when I took the camera off the tripod. Oh, my beast. The Iron Giant is a savage, guys. Let's go. What a tank, dude. That is so cool. That is so badass. All right, I think we have a savage turtle, guys. He just ate that whole thing. I'm trying to rip it up to get it down easier, but he just smoked that whole thing, guys. What a beast. What an absolute beast. I literally just shut the garage and took the camera off the tripod because I thought I was done filming. And then boom, I just see this guy with a tail with a fish in his mouth, just eating it. That's a big meal for you, bro. That's a big meal. He ate, he, he attacked this one. He attacked the bigger one and I bet he thought this is a little bit too big to eat. So then he went after a smaller one and smoked it. The Iron Giant, bro, he's a savage. There you have it guys, he actually did it. He ate a goldfish. I did not think it was gonna, I did not think he was gonna be able to do it. I thought he was gonna be just too used to eating the dead shrimp, but clearly the snapping turtles, they can eat anything. So we fed our snapping turtles some live today. He did good with the crab, but the koi stole it from him and he just did good by himself with the goldfish, just by himself. So A plus to Mr. Iron Giant and the snapping turtle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I freaking love every single one of you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.